In the six, I'm Rob doing the 2020 Spring Bank 21 year old. So, this one's the darkest Spring Bank 21 that I've seen so far 46% unchill filtered, no out of color, all those fun things. This one's a combination of X bourbon, X sherry, X port, and X rum. There are percentages of each, I will put them up over here, uh, but. Really nice stuff. I feel like this one just took a little bit longer to open up to me. Gonna nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right. So all kinds of notes on the nose here. I have a funny feeling that one of those casks that I mentioned, or a portion of those casks that I mentioned, were recharred. Because the color does not make sense. Even with heavily sherried whiskeys, like some of their single cask bottlings that are just sherry or just port, don't come out that color. So I have a funny feeling that something is recharred here or a bunch of these casks are recharred here to get that color. Because it's really, really dark. Some nice like pipe tobacco kind of smoke. Strong chocolate notes. Some sweet chocolate and some dark chocolate. Definitely on the dark side here. A little bit of like char on there. Something burnt, which is like a burnt wood kind of note, burnt sugar kind of note. Definitely sweet on the nose as well. But not as sweet on the nose as the 2019 in my opinion. Dark, dark, dark fruits, cooked down fruits. Definitely some like baking spice in there as well. Getting a little bit of like a Christmas cookie kind of note in there. Like an amaretti kind of note, which is like an almond cookie. So one of those whiskeys you can nose for a very, very long time. For once, I actually have a Springbank 21 to myself. I'm not splitting this with anybody. Except for a couple of my Patreons that are lucky enough to get this one. In their mystery dram. Really nice. On the palate. So definitely spring bank funk on the palate. That smoky Campbelltown funk that you're used to with spring bank is definitely here. It's definitely present probably more so than the older, the 2019, uh, 21 year old char notes, um, baked almond cookies. Again, some coffee notes in there as well in the finish. Yeah, definitely almost like a raw espresso bean on the back palate. If you've ever chewed a coffee bean, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about or you should know what I'm talking about if you have. Definitely there, but sweet, um, 
maybe a little bit of like burnt sugar in there as well. I want to say that I'm getting some dark fruits on the back end as well. Maybe some like cooked down berries, um, compote style, like cooked down, made into almost like a syrup, like a berry syrup kind of note on the back end. Yeah, that's really nice. Definitely. I like the viscosity of this one better than the 2019 for sure. The finish is way better than the 2019 for sure. Although the 2019 was just so easy sipping. This one is, it takes a little bit more time. It, it's more complex. It has a lot going on, not as much sweetness as the 2019. So it depends what you like. I really liked that 2019. Obviously, uh, if you watch my review, I'll actually put it um, at the end of this video and you can see that a little bit of like a asphalt, like fresh asphalt on the nose as well. Yeah, really nice on the palate. Not overly sweet. Like I said, more towards like your dark chocolate coffee with like unsweetened coffee there is a touch of sweetness in the back end and a touch up front as well definitely more complex than 2019 <clears throat> i think i gave the 2019 like a 93 if i had to rescore that i'd probably stick with a 93 on that one but i'm gonna give this one a 92 I think the 2019 beats this by just a little bit. I fell in love with the 2019 because it was just so easy to drink, uh, so approachable, sweet, all the things that you want from Springbank, but also an added sweetness and whatever else. Uh, this probably is your more traditional style Springbank, um, something that will probably be considered one of the greats in the future. I have a funny feeling this is just going to continue to open up. It already has opened up a lot getting to halfway down this bottle. Excellent score for this. Would I buy it again at the price? Yes. Am I willing to go through the rigmarole to get this bottle again? I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of chasing down the spring bank releases every year. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. I lose sleep over it. Um, so I'm probably not going to do that again. If I can get them, I will. If I don't, I'm not going to cry. Um, but this is really good. Well worth the price. Well worth the hassle. I just don't think I'm going to do it again next year in 2021 or when the 2021 comes out. But like I said, really good stuff. 92, 93. If you like this video guys give it a thumbs up if you really like the video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already you can check my instagram twitter facebook and follow this channel on patreon you can check out our whiskey rant podcast on all places where you find your podcast hope you are all doing well cheers